first question i was just wondering if you have gotten the uh, handle on perspective views if you have gotten the perspective on perspective views huh no okay uh the best way to get a handle on perspectives is to practice okay so if you practice you'll get better two things that i would want to tell you one is uh, homework number 8 if you guys have the manuals in front of you just check it out homework 8 is slightly different so it's a competition okay so this what the thing is that uh, you're going to be uh, drawing a uh, think a two point perspective of your hostel room okay and that's that's the fun part of it is is that right so that two aspects of it one is voluntary voluntary means you can take a break and the second aspect is competition okay so those who are interested they can draw a two point perspective of their hostel room just imagine that you are standing you know just about at the door of your room whatever you see uh make a mental picture of that and draw a perspective okay uh the due date is again one week um after after your lab eight and what i'll do is i'll request the tutors to choose the best drawings from each section and then we'll sit down and we'll choose the best maybe one two or three and of course so there'll be a little prize okay uh that's that's one thing and second thing is uh a little request <laughs> that from now on i mean of course uh perspectives uh, would probably have been a little difficult um for you but from now on things are going to get even more difficult so we are going to get into space geometry lines planes intersections development okay uh Of course you guys are free to miss classes but if you miss classes um you know uh, you'll be at a loss so my request to you so consider that as an advice as well as request my advice and a request to you uh, would be to uh, come to the class okay listen to the lecture if things are not clear to me uh make me explain it as many times as you want so that you can understand it and i'll be happy to do that okay because if you miss a class then you know you lose something you don't feel like coming to the next class and then you know things happen so uh this is something that i just wanted uh, you to caution about so things are going to get a little difficult and challenging and uh, to be able to understand things better come to the class yeah is that a single point two point it's a two point na so but when we are starting at the gate of our the event all the parallel and the bit it would be easier to draw a single point perspective we'll think about that think about that maybe you can uh, think about that yeah so okay so a little more on perspective views uh this is an example uh that you're going to be solving in uh, your lab so i just want to uh, go through the solution once there are going to be a lot of lines in here so bear with me I'll try to do my best to explain things. All right, so what's given to you 
is the plan view of the object and the profile view of the object and a bunch of lines. So, you have the picture plane which is uh, passing through one of the edges of the object uh, PP uh, 20 millimeters below that you have the horizon line ok. Uh, about 90 millimeters below this vertex of the object you have the ground line over which you have the profile view this is where you are standing and this is where your eye level is and 5 millimeters below the ground line you have the station point ok. So, these things are given to you once these things are given to you you can maybe think about starting to draw perspective views. Now, about this angle and this angle of course, this angle is 90 degrees ok. So, uh, you get a nice perspective if you keep this combination as 60 30 ok. So, uh, length may be around 30 degrees if this is more otherwise 60 degrees and the other angle as 60 degrees or 30 degrees depending ok. So, it is a nice idea because you get a very nice perspective uh, of that ok all right. So, you have seen this ok. So, this is the isometric view of the same object that you have drawn in uh, one of your previous labs. I am going to be keeping this picture uh, there is a slight modification rather simplification that uh, I am going to be uh, working with. I have replaced this part by a rectangle or rectangular region or a block ok. So, that we can understand um, the uh, drawing of perspective in a little better way ok. Otherwise, uh, this thing would remain the same. So, this thing is a block this thing is a rectangular block, but this thing remains the same over here. And what I want you to do is try to understand the difference between the isometric drawing and the perspective drawing as we you know continue with the drawing all right. So, this is where the station point is ok I am letting go of the numbers and maybe I will be with you I will stay here. So, I can also look at these slides the lines am I blocking your view can you move maybe at the back let go of the numbers first step is to figure out the left vanishing point and the right vanishing point this for the left this for the right ok. Uh, you project the edge of an object far away along this direction on the horizon this is for left vanishing point on the left LVP on the right vanishing point on the right ok. Let me go back starting from the station point look along this direction at an object at infinity get the image of that on the picture plane which is going to be a point project that on the horizon line ok. This would be the left vanishing point likewise if you do the same thing on the right look along this direction at an object at infinity ok. Get the image of that object as a point project it downward on the horizon line you will be getting the right vanishing point ok. First step with me good ok. Now, <coughs> what are the three rules? lines which are parallel to the perspective uh, parallel to the picture plane they mean parallel wonderful lines which are not parallel to the picture plane they vanish lines which are on the picture plane they stay in true length ok. Identify the first step is identify the edge on the object which is on the picture plane. look at this vertex here look at this point ok. So, the edge going into the screen will be the edge which will be in true length ok. Once you have identified that from the station point view that edge ok that edge would correspond to this here ok make that edge. Now, with that edge made 
these edges are going to be vanishing towards the left vanishing point these edges they are going to be vanishing towards the right vanishing point ok all right left vanishing point the right vanishing point ok let us focus on this edge ok from the station point in the top view get the site information ok the image of this vertex will be formed over here projected downward you will be getting the edge in between these two rays that vanish towards the right vanishing point here okay. with me ok. So, once you have this edge you can get this block made pretty easily ok. Now, of course, you would not see this edge because it is not there, but how about this you see this all right where would you see that on these two rays ok. What do you do station point look at this vertex get the image of this vertex on the picture plane project that image down ok. So, you will get this edge here right over here in between these two rays ok. The same thing for this vertex here get the image on the picture plane project it down and you see this with me ok straight forward straight forward. So, you have this part ok now how about this feature of the object here all lines at 60 degrees from this part of the picture plane they will be vanishing towards the left vanishing point now ok. So, if you are looking at this edge over here and this edge over here they will be vanishing both towards the left vanishing point with me ok all right. So, both from the top as well as from the bottom now this is the important part this guy here in the profile view where is it where is that in the plan view over here right. Now, would any part of this be on the picture plane? No. Will you be able to get the true height of that? Will you be able to get the true height of that? Probably not, ok. But there is a little trick that you can use to get the true height of that, ok. So, you can just imagine you can just imagine that this guy comes down over here. So, that one of the vertices of this guy is on the picture plane ok. Correspondingly get the height of this thing on this line ok, because it is this line where you are going to be getting all heights in true lengths now yeah. Okay, so imagine that this guy has come down over here. Imagine that this guy has come down over here, so that this vertex is coinciding with this vertex. Okay, working. Okay, I'll try to speak without the mic for a while. Can you hear me? Good. So, are you with me so far? With regard to this, huh? Now, look at this edge ok, where is it going to vanish there ok, what do I need to do now 
I use the site information, I look at the back vertex of the object in top view, get the image of that on the picture plane, project it down. Okay. What this edge is, that's this edge in perspective. Okay. How about the height? Are you with me on this? So get this height. So let me go back. So what I've done is a little trick. I know that if I stay on this vertical line, if I stay on this vertical line, I'm going to be getting true lens. Okay. Can I have some? Kurkure? You know it's bad, you should share, no? All right, so what I do is um, I'll do a little trick. I know that anything on this line I'll get in true length. Okay, so I'll move this feature over here so that one of these vertices coincides with this vertex. Okay, so that means that if I take, if I use the profile view and get the height over here, what I can do is I can, knowing that it is going to be vanishing at the left vanishing point. I draw this ray and then I use the site information, look at the back vertex, get the image projected downwards. Okay. This would be the edge in perspective corresponding to this edge and this would be the height in perspective corresponding to this height. So far so good? Okay. I look at the second vertex, get the image projected down, okay, and then looking at these edges, I know that they will vanish towards the right vanishing point, okay, both of them. And if I look at these two vertices, essentially I am going to be using the site information. If I look at these two vertices, I go up, get the image of that vertex on the picture plane, project it down. Likewise, this one, project it down. Okay. I'll get this block, which corresponds to this guy over here. Fine. So far, so good. Same trick. Same trick to get this part of the object. Okay, use the profile view. Project the height on the true length line. Draw rays that vanish towards the left vanishing point and the right vanishing point. Okay. So this is the height that I'm going to be getting here. Okay, this is the slant part of the surface that I get. I get this height, I get this slant part. Not good. Huh? Okay, so far, or maybe I can go back and I can explain. No? Stay with me here. You know, it's not your fault because even I'm getting confused. Stay with me. Do you have this point on, um, in, in my perspective figure? Do you have this point in my perspective figure? Do I? Where is that? This guy over here. Huh? I don't have it, no? How do I get it? I know that this point corresponds to this point, right? I use the true height information, okay? Take this ray towards the left vanishing point. This intersection point. Is that right? 
this one over here would correspond to this and this ok. So, once I have this intersection point ready I look at this edge over here this edge would vanish towards the right vanishing point ok. Having done that I can draw this edge this vertical edge ok and the vertical edge on the right here and then I can join this and this point to get the slant surface good. How do I get these points stay with me I have gotten this edge now I have gotten this edge. So, there is a trick that I can use what I can do is I can project these two edges right. So, ok once again I can project these two edges onto this edge I get these two points over here I look at one of those points from the SP in the top view get the image ok I look at yeah. So, this point over here So, this point so, uh, this point over here comes down over here right ok likewise I look at this point I look at this point from the station point this is the image of that point on the picture plane I project it down over here and then I join these two points and then I get these two red lines corresponding to these lines over here and over here fine with me yeah which horizontal line there are many horizontal lines there are so many lines that yeah yeah come come over yeah yeah no 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 you know why why absolutely absolutely. So, this portion cannot be here because this portion is behind the picture plane ok. So, this horizontal line here is just to take the true dimension of this on this true length line ok. All right. So, stay with me this is confusing there will be a lot many lines all right. Now, I am looking at this point I am looking at this point here ok and I am going to be taking the projection of the image of this point from here which is this here ok. I know that this edge vanishes towards the right vanishing point I draw this edge and the intersection of this ray with these two edges will give me this edge right. Can I repeat ok so far. So, what I have done what I have done is I have located these two edges in perspective fine I have to locate this point and this point ok. How do I do that I go to my station point which is where I am I look at this point get its image on the picture plane project it down where on this edge ok 
I will get this point over here. Likewise, I look at this point, okay, get the image on the picture plane, project it down, I will get some point over here. But I do not need to worry about that because I already know that this edge is vanishing towards the right vanishing point. So, all I need to do is draw a ray from this intersection RVP, okay, which is what I do here. Fine? Yeah? Of course, of course you can. There are multiple multiple ways of doing that. Of course you can. This is one of the solutions. Okay, so this part this part of the object is in perspective now. Yeah, needs a clap. Come on. Now, is it possible? Is it possible for you to draw the right hand part right inside the object in perspective? No? Want to see things messed up? Yes? Which one? Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay with me. Stay with me. So, one of your peers says that this object is not complete because there would be a vertical line and there would be another line and there would be another line. Three lines missing. Fine. Uh, Do not worry about that. This is just for check this is your vertical line ok. So, in your slides you can go back and uh, refer to the blue lines and um, this is just for verification do not worry about that vertical line line that if you draw a ray joining this point and the right vanishing point the edge below this edge ok that lie on that ray extend that and then you will be getting the third line ok. All right. So, here comes the messy part of the object what am I doing here from this vertex from this vertex I am drawing this edge in perspective right there you go. and then the edge on top of that it is getting messier huh? not visible You know it is going to be interesting if uh, when when you are going to be working on this it is going to be interesting it is going to be uh, <laughs> too many lines too many lines too many lines ok too many lines all right ok now I want you guys to be attentive and just see just see what is happening on the right hand side of the object. From the station point from the station so, so the idea is that if I am able to get a perspective sketch of this portion of the object I think I will be ok ok. So, what I will do is I will first of all simplify this thing to be like a block once I get this like a block ok I can then try to get this semicircle and the circle later ok. So, the first thing is for me to get this part the object 
as if it were a block ok. So, let us do that I look at this vertex from the station point project it downwards ok this vertex is going to be lying on this edge this edge in perspective is this edge right there ok I get this part ok. Now, look at the point at the back this point over here ok this is the intersection point which needs to be projected downwards ok. This intersection point is what we are interested in ok and as I said I am looking at this part as if it were a block. So, I draw three blue lines look at one vertex ok take it down extend it extend it look at the other take that projection down extend that I get the block I get the block right. So, once I get the block then getting the circular feature is not going to be difficult it's going to be messy all right, but it's not going to be difficult. This is your center line. Now, what I am doing here is this I am going to be drawing a bunch of lines parallel to this ok. What I am going to be doing is I am going to be drawing a bunch of lines parallel to this in this region ok. So, these lines are going to be intersecting this arc ok and I am going to be doing the same treatment to those points of intersections as I have done for all the vertices of the object ok. This is what the generic idea is wait and watch line in the middle Just wait and watch. Got that line? Getting the points of intersections, I guess. Got that line? Got the center line? Got the arc? Got this part of the arc? one solid line should not be there should not should not be there should not be there should not be there should not be there which one is it this one ignore it yeah it should not be there ok there is more mess pertaining to the circle from where to where all right. So, let me have these guys over here and then maybe I will explain it now this block was fine now huh? this block was fine what I wanted to do was to get the arc in perspective ok. Now, how would I do that or how would I be able to do that I draw a bunch of lines which are parallel to these lines get the intersection thank you get the intersection between this arc and these lines I will get a bunch of points set of points a group of points and I am going to be dealing with those points the same way as I have dealt with all the other points that is what the basic idea is. Wait and watch the mess pertaining to 
that circle over there again the same thing I am going to be enclosing this circle within a box get the box in perspective get the insection points and eventually get the circle. Wait, 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 just watch. I'm going to run a little fast. Working? All right. Bottom line, bottom line, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, stay with me, stay with me. Once again, the idea is to enclose this circle within a box, get the box in red over here in perspective. Okay, make that circle intersect with a bunch of parallel lines, get the points of insection perspective, draw the corresponding thingy. Okay, and of course there would be a there would be an arc over here if you think there would be. Okay. Now this is what is what you should see at the end of your lab eight. Okay. I wanted to cover three point perspective, but uh, we don't have much time and I have to wind things up in another four and a half minutes. Just an animation of the two point perspective of a staircase. Art ain't easy. So this probably answers your question, huh? it answers your question. So depending on the height of the object you have, it is below the horizon line, you are going to be seeing the roof of the object, if it is above the horizon line, you are going to be seeing, you will not be seeing the roof of the object. So essentially all these guys are, so this is the horizon line, all these guys are below the horizon line and that is the reason why you are seeing these flat surfaces, okay. above the horizon line, those flat surfaces are gone. So it has been 8 months since you have cleared JE, 8 months, yeah almost, more than that, 10 months, all right almost 10 months since you have cleared JE, okay, fine. This is where you start in your careers, in your respective careers this is where you start, this is where you are. <laughs> but 
10 years down the line when you come and meet me okay i would want to see you way up there in your lives thank you <laughs>